Consider the following two equations. 2x plus 3y is equal to 8, and also 5x minus 3y is equal to negative 1. How can we solve these two equations using elimination, which is also known as the addition method? Using elimination, what you want to do is add the two equations. 3y plus negative 3y, these two cancel. 2x plus 5x is 7x, and 8 plus negative 1 is 7. So now if we divide both sides by 7, we can get the value of x. 7 divided by 7 is 1. Now once you have the value of x, you can plug it into the first or even the second equation. Let's use the first one. Let's replace x with 1. So we're going to have 2 times 1 plus 3y is equal to 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Next, let's subtract both sides by 2. So that cancels. So what we're going to have now is 3y is equal to 8 minus 2, which is 6. And now let's divide both sides by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So y equals 2. So to write your answer as an ordered pair, it's going to be 1 comma 2. Now let's try another example. Let's say that 2x plus 5y is equal to 19, and also x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. Now this example is a little different. If we add the two equations, x or y will not cancel completely. So we need to modify it. So we need to choose if we want to cancel x or y. Since x has smaller numbers, let's try to cancel x. All we need to do is multiply the second equation by negative 2. Since we have a positive 2 here, we want this to be a negative 2 so that it's going to cancel. Now I'm going to rewrite the first equation. Now the second equation, multiply everything times 2. And 1x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2y times negative 2 is positive 4y. And negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Now let's add the two equations. So those two will cancel. 5y plus 4y is 9y. 19 plus 8 is 27. Now let's divide both sides by 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. Now let's find the value of x. So let's use the first equation. Let's replace y with 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Next, let's subtract both sides by 15. So those will cancel. 19 minus 15, that's equal to 4. And if we divide both sides by 2, we can see that 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x is equal to 2. So therefore, the solution to this problem is 2 comma 3. And that's the answer. So that's how you can solve a system of two equations using the elimination method. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve a system of two equations using substitution. So the first equation that we have is y is equal to 5 minus 2x, and the second one is 4x plus 3y is equal to 13. So what should we do here if we want to solve by substitution? Well, what we want to do is we want to replace or substitute y in the second equation with 5 minus 2x, because y is equal to 5 minus 2x. So what we're going to have is 4x plus 3 times 5 minus 2x, and that's equal to 13. Now let's go ahead and distribute 3. So 3 times 5, that's 15. And 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. In our next step, we need to combine like terms. 4x plus negative 6x, that's negative 2x. So negative 2x plus 15 is equal to 13. Next, let's subtract both sides by negative 13, or by 
13, rather. So, actually, I want to subtract it by 15, not by 13. That's what I meant to say. So this will cancel. Negative 2x is equal to 13 minus 15, which is negative 2. Now, let's divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by itself is equal to 1. So x is 1. Now that we have the value of x, let's plug into the first equation to get the value of y. So 5 minus 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So y is equal to 3. Therefore, the solution to this system of equations is 1 comma 3. Now what about this example? Let's say y is equal to 3x plus 2, and also y is equal to 7x minus 6. How can we use substitution to solve for x and y? Well, we can replace this y with 3x plus 2, because y equals 3x plus 2. So 3x plus 2 is therefore equal to 7x minus 6. And now let's find a value of x. So let's begin by adding 6 to both sides. And simultaneously, let's add, or well, let's subtract both sides by 3x. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. 3x minus 3x is 0. On the left, 2 plus 6 is 8. And on the right, 7x minus 3x is 4x. Next, let's divide both sides by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So x is equal to 2. Now, let's plug it into the first equation. You can also plug it into the second equation. 3 times 2 plus 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. If you plug it into the second equation, it's going to be 7 times 2 minus 6. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. So you get the same answer. So y equals 8. So the answer is 2 comma 8 as an ordered pair. That's the solution to the equation. Now, here's another example. 4x plus 2y is equal to 14. And also uh, 3x minus 5y, let's say that's equal to negative 22. What can we do uh, to solve for x and y? How can we use substitution to get the answers? Now, typically, when x and y are aligned, like the way you see it, I prefer to use the elimination method. But sometimes you may be given a problem like this and you need to use the substitution method. What you want to do is solve for x or y. I think it's easier to solve for y in the first equation. So let's do that. So I'm going to rewrite the equation here. Let's begin by subtracting both sides by 4x, which is equivalent to taking the 4x, moving it from the left side to the right side. On the left side, 4x is positive. On the right side, it's going to be negative. So therefore, 2y is equal to negative 4x plus 14. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2, or basically everything by 2. So y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. So now that I have y by itself, in the second equation, I'm going to replace y with negative 2x plus 7. So let's substitute y with negative 2x plus 7. So 3x minus 5 times negative 2x plus 7, that's going to equal negative 22. Now let's distribute negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 2x, that's positive 10x. Negative 5 times positive 7, that's equal to negative 35. So now let's combine like terms. 3x and 10x, that's 13x. Now in the next step, let's add 35 to both sides. Negative 22 plus 35 is 13. So 13x equals 13. Now let's divide both sides by 13. So we can see that x is equal to 1. Now the next thing we need to do is take that value, plug it into that equation to get y. So negative 2 times 1 plus 7. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. So y is equal to 5. Therefore, the solution as an ordered pair 
is 1 comma 5. That's the answer.